Thanksgiving is a major holiday in the United States, celebrated on the fourth Thursday of November. Originating as a harvest festival, Thanksgiving's purpose is exactly what its name suggests: to give thanks for the year's harvest. Thanksgiving is also a holiday that holds deep historical meaning that is unique to America. Though first nationally declared only in 1789, its origins can be traced back to the 1600s. So, how was Thanksgiving conceived? The origin of Thanksgiving is generally attributed to Plymouth Bay's first Thanksgiving in 1621. In late 1620, an English ship called the Mayflower arrived in what is now Massachusetts, bearing 102 passengers. Many of the passengers were pilgrims or Calvinist Protestants who wished to break away from the Church of England. In December of 1620, they founded the Plymouth Colony, but only about half of the colonists survived the brutal winter which ensued. The 53 survivors had barely set up their settlement when an Abenaki chief named Samoset walked into their town on March 16th, 1621. Samoset knew limited English from previous contact with English traders and introduced to the pilgrims two other local leaders. Massasoit of the Wampanoag and Squanto of the Patuxet. Squanto could speak English because he had spent time in England as a slave, having returned home as part of an English expedition. On March 22nd, the Pilgrims and Massasoit forged a treaty ensuring peaceful relations and a military alliance. Squanto taught the colonists the method of using fish as fertilizers to grow corn. With this help, the Pilgrims were able to celebrate their first successful harvest in late September of 1621. 53 pilgrims and 90 Native Americans participated in this first Thanksgiving, which lasted three days. During this festival, the attendees feasted off local foods such as turkey, corn, fish, and deer. It wasn't until the June of 1623 that the pilgrims held their first official Thanksgiving, which was also the first time that the festival received government recognition. This version of Thanksgiving consisted of a fast and a solemn prayer, giving thanks to God for the rich harvest brought forth by a 14-day rain. The Thanksgiving tradition spread to the rest of Massachusetts by 1631, and was celebrated for the first time in Connecticut in 1639. New Netherland, now New York, also observed Thanksgiving in 1644. In 1777, both the Continental Congress and General George Washington nationally proclaimed Thanksgivings to keep up American morale during the Revolutionary War. The Continental Congress's description of Thanksgiving in their proclamation was heavily religious. October 3, 1789, was the first Thanksgiving officially designated by the government of the United States, issued by President George Washington. Thanksgiving had to be proclaimed by presidents, and they were not declared on a fixed date. President Jefferson never even bothered with the holiday. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln finally declared that Thanksgiving was to be set on the last Thursday of November annually. It was also the mid to late 19th century when the familiar Thanksgiving family dinner, with staples such as turkey, pumpkin pie, cranberry sauce, and mashed potatoes, was born. A cookbook from 1887 describes a Thanksgiving menu not too different from that of today. As a side note, although turkey was not popularized until the mid 1800s, it had been endorsed by founding fathers such as Alexander Hamilton, who declared that no citizen of the United States should refrain from turkey on Thanksgiving Day. In 2015, the year of Hamilton, 85 million turkeys were eaten for Thanksgiving. Anyway, after Lincoln's proclamation, Thanksgiving continued to be celebrated annually on the last Thursday of November until FDR came along. To help retailers affected by the Great Depression prior to the Christmas season, President Roosevelt declared Thanksgiving to be the second to last Thursday of November in 1939. This sudden change caused a lot of controversy, and 22 states celebrated Thanksgiving on the last Thursday anyway. As a compromise, in 1941, Congress fixed Thanksgiving Day as the fourth Thursday of November. This act also made Thanksgiving a federal holiday. Thanksgiving today is mostly known for its family dinner tradition, which is carried out by 85% of Americans. Some of the religious still give thanks to God on this holiday, even with just a simple prayer prior to the dinner. Some groups, like the Salvation Army, see Thanksgiving as an opportunity for charity. Still, others consider Thanksgiving a day for solemn remembrance, for one of the few instances of peaceful cooperation between Europeans and Native Americans. While you enjoy your Thanksgiving dinner tonight, maybe the meaning behind that feast is something to think about. Regardless, have a happy Thanksgiving, and as always, thanks for watching.